Hello, this is Rohan Shah with Far From Standard Tutoring. In this video, we'll be learning what local linearization is. Local linearization. That pretty much means that locally on a function, meaning near a certain x value, we'll be trying to make a line out of it. So, uh, in this function, y equals x squared, looking at this beautiful parabola, let's say that we want to find the local linearization around x equals 1. So, we want to find what a line would look like something like this when x is equal to 1. So now, how do you do local linearization? How do you find this line? Well, there are three basic steps that we use here at FFS. Uh, the first one is to find the slope at that point. So if we want to find the local linearization at x equals 1, let's find what the slope of the parabola is when x equals 1. Now, since y equals x squared, we know that the derivative, y prime, is 2x from previous videos. So, if we want to find the slope, meaning the derivative, when x equals 1, we'll just plug in 1 for x. When we plug in 1 for x, we see that the derivative, y prime, is 2, and so this is what m is in y equals mx plus b. So the slope of the line is going to be 2. Now, the second step is using that slope and the x and y points to get b. Now, generally, you'll probably only be given the x value but you can easily plug that into the function to get the y value at that point. In the parabola, we notice that when x is 1, y is also 1. So we pretty much know that x is 1, y is 1, and that m is 2. We can use this to get b in the equation y equals mx plus b. So 1 equals 2 times 1 plus b. So this will just be 2, subtracting 2 from both sides. We get negative 1 equals b. So now, we know that b is 1 and m is 2. We can use this to write out the equation y equals mx plus b. So y equals 2x minus 1. So the intercept here will be negative 1, and the slope of this line is 2, and that will estimate this function at x equals uh, 1. Now we can use this line to answer any question that we have. Let's take a look at an example. So let's say we want to find the error of the local linearization of this function over here at x equals 1 when x equals 1.1. What does this complicated, ugly question mean? Well, let's look at it step by step. First, let's find the local linearization. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to find the slope of this function at the given x value. So as we know, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So y prime is e to the x. Using x equals 1, we get that the derivative, meaning the slope, is just e, because e to the 1 is, well, e. So now that we have the m, let's find the x and the y values to find b. So we know that our x value that we're looking at is 1. The corresponding y value in the original equation is just e. And we know from before that m is also e. So using this, we get e equals e times 1 plus b. And again, this comes from the equation y equals mx plus b. So using this equation again, we can find b by subtracting e from both sides. So we literally get 0 equals b. So since b is 0 and m is e, we know that our y equals mx plus b is going to be y equals ex, again, because b is 0 and m is e. Now that we have our local linearization, we can use that to answer the question. So the question is, what is the error? Uh, so that's just really asking you the difference between the actual function and the line. Don't let this confuse you. This is just a line. So what is the value of the line when x is 1.1? Well, that is, we'll just plug in 1.1 for x, e times 1.1. And what is the value of the original function at x equals 1.1? Well, that is y equals e to the 1.1. So the error is just the difference between these two, which is e times 1.1, minus e to the 1.1. This is the error. Well, I hope local linearization makes a lot more sense to you now, and enjoy the rest of the videos.